In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to backup and restore your Samsung phone to the desktop version of Smart Switch. This also allows you to transfer your old phone. Say here, I have the Galaxy Note 5, and I wanna transfer it to my new Galaxy Note 8. This will do that. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the desktop version of Smart Switch. If you are looking for another way to transfer information to your Note 8, please click the pop-up on screen, as that will take you to my playlist about transferring data to your new Samsung device. I have many videos on how to transfer wirelessly, how to transfer wired using the USB connector that comes in the box, as well as how to transfer from an iPhone to the new Galaxy Note device. So those videos are talking about the S8, but the same principles apply to the Note 8. So make sure you check that out if you're looking for those options. But this video is gonna show you how you can completely back up your Samsung phone. So here I have the Note 5, but you could use almost any Samsung device, plugging it into your computer. This is available on a Mac or a PC. And also how you can restore that data to your old phone. Maybe there's something wrong with your phone. You wanna back it up, wipe it, and restore it. You can do that. Or you can back up your data, and then you can restore it to a new device, kind of doing a smart switch transfer it. And you can also use the app to transfer data as well as check for software updates. So let's get started. Step number one, head to samsung.com forward slash smart switch. Once you arrive here, you just need to scroll down and here it is going to say transfer content from PC or Mac. Click download for PC or Mac. Then you will choose which version you want to download. So you can do the Android option, like I mentioned, or you can do download for Mac or download for PC. So here we are on a PC, we're going to use that. Now it downloads and I'm going to install it. Step number two, while you're waiting for it to install, let's take our old device and go through and clean it up. Some of the things that you may want to do is go through and delete some applications or maybe go through and clean up your pictures so that when you transfer, it's a really nice transfer. Also, this is a good time to go and make sure that all the apps are being backed up in some way. So Smart Switch will transfer basic data like your contacts, your calendar, your applications that you have downloaded, your pictures, your call memos. But if you have apps that don't sync, you will need to make sure you manually back that up. So say you have a game like Clash Royale, you will need to sync that to your Google Play account. And then when you go to your new phone, you sign into your Google Play account and that information will transfer over, but this will not back up save game data and certain applications, if you don't sign in and use an account, you may need to go in and make sure that data has been backed up in some way. Usually you can go into the settings and check that that's backed up. Step number three, let's open Smart Switch and then plug in our phone to begin the backup transfer. Now that Smart Switch is open, I just need to plug in my device. It will automatically scan, find my phone, find out any information it has. So I can click the drop down here. I can see what version of Android I'm on, see my internal memory available, and sometimes it will give you an update option here. So some of the other settings that you have here, you have just three simple ones, backup, restore, and then Outlook sync. If we check the settings here, you can reinstall drivers. Maybe if it doesn't connect, you can go up here and check that. You can also check your preferences as to where you want your backup to go. Uh, you can encrypt the data, but make sure you know that that is password protected and that may run into problems in the future if you're trying to transfer. Here you can choose what you wanna back up. So if I wanna back up contacts, S Planner, messages, and S Note, call logs, clock, internet, S Health, kids mode, I can do all that. I can back up images, music, videos, documents, voice recordings, applications, and then I can back up email, home screen, location services, and settings. So then some of these have a little I by them. So like here, I wanna check my images, and it says uh, supported files, you know, .jpg, so your just normal stuff that is always there for transferring. And then here, you can do software updates, so I can have it automatically scan when I plug in the phone for software updates. So we're not gonna change that, we're just gonna click cancel, and then I'm going to click backup data. Here it will then scan through my phone and back up everything. So to complete the backup, you do need to allow for permissions on the device. So here on the phone, I'm going to open it up, 
and then I'm going to select allow to allow those permissions. And now the computer has access to scan through my phone and find and back up all of that information. Now, depending on how much info you do have, this could take a bit of time. Here it gives you the notice, this may take some time. If you are using a laptop, make sure it's connected to a power source and do not unplug the USB while it is being backed up. During this transfer, it will back up the fold application file. That's why I suggest to go through and maybe delete a few that you no longer need. This may take some time, so if you don't want it to back up every single application, make sure you go into the settings and uncheck applications and it won't back up the apps. It will just back up all the other data when it does this. So here the backup is complete. That took about 15 minutes to do the full backup there. Here it's showing me that I have 2,000 contacts, four planner items, 10,000 text, 169 notes, 173 images, music, videos, documents, voice recordings, apps, even backed up email, home screen, location, and all the other information that I have on my phone. So now that that has been backed up, on my Note 5, I can continue using it knowing that I do have a backup. Maybe I need to warranty my phone. I could now factory reset my phone and send it in and I know that I have the information backed up here on my computer. Or in this case, I want to go and transfer all that information to a new phone and restore it to a new phone. Step number four, now you can plug in your new device to restore that data too. So here I'm gonna plug in the Note 8. I did need to switch out the cable to the USB-C cable. And now I'm going to run through the steps to install that information to the new device. So I'm going to plug that in. The Smart Switch app will search through my phone. And here it's saying I need to allow for permissions. And now we have that same layout. We have the backup restore and information about the phone. So here, this time I'm going to select restore. And here it says backup data from Brett's Note 5 will be restored to the connected device. Uh, the backup was created and it says the time that that backup was created. If you have another backup from a different device you wanna use, you wanna select a different backup right there and you can go in and see what information is there. I can choose an iTunes backup. So if you actually had a iTunes backup from your iPhone, you could import it through here and then you can also manu manually select files. So here I'm gonna choose my Samsung device. There's my Note 5. I don't have any other backups on the computer. So I'm gonna click cancel and then I'm gonna click restore now. So this will restore all the backed up information that it received from my Note 5 and put it on my Note 8. Again, I need to unlock my Note 8 and allow for permissions for it to change all of these settings so that it can then install that onto the Note 8. It has now finished restoring all the information to the Galaxy Note 8. Here it said that it took 21 minutes. It restored 3.3 gig of data, and here it shows all the information that it restored, just like what we saw when we did the Note 5. Here on S-Note, it does give a notification saying that S-Note files have been restored to the Samsung Notes app, so it changed from the previous Note 5. And then here, Kids Mode, it says download the Kids Mode app to the connected device, and then all the kids mode information will be restored. So I can click OK and there I am finished. Step number five, enjoy your new phone with all of your data seamlessly transferred over knowing you also have a backup on the computer if you ever need it again. So first thing right here on the lock screen, we noticed that it did transfer my wallpaper over, which is really nice. Uh, then it gives me a bunch of notifications because this is the first time I've gone into the phone. Now let's look at the home screen. So when I swipe, here on the home page, it reorganized all my applications and everything over to this device. So here it looks like it's loading. I may need to adjust some things in that widget. Here the Google search bar has changed a bit. It did say I need to re-download the kids mode, but it looks like all my other folders, so here pump it up, I have all the same applications in there. Uh, here I have my calendar. I just need to sync my calendar and give access right there. Uh, really awesome if I go to the next page. Wow, this is actually very impressive on everything that it was able to transfer for over. Here, this widget is for a Verizon only device, which this is not Verizon, so it didn't send that over. Uh, it has the same applications there as well as on that page. So pretty awesome. Uh, the only thing on this is down here on the bottom, 
we don't have the applications bar over on the Note 8. You swipe up to get into the applications and swipe down, you can go back. So that is not there, but everything else is transferred. And I do have a theme installed on this device, so I would need to go in and change that. Click the link in the top if you wanna see how to adjust your themes, and that will work on the Galaxy Note 8. So here in my contacts, many of these are backed up already with my Google account, but if you had it transfer those over, it will back those right up to here. Now I want to go into the gallery, so I'm gonna open up the gallery on this. And I did have some photos already, but it has given me these more albums. So I can go over and see that I have some GIFs already created and it transferred those over, so I have the same files there. All of those have been moved over just fine. Next, let's go into text messaging. So here, if I go into the messaging app, I can see that I need to set this as my default. It's now loading up all those messages. And here we can see that all my text messages were transferred over. So this did a really good job on transferring everything over from my Note 5 to my Galaxy Note 8. This will work on other Galaxy devices. And even if you had an iTunes backup, you could transfer that information over to your new Galaxy Note 8. So my calendar, all of this information was already stored on my Gmail account. So when I put that in, it synced everything over. But something like clock, this was also transferred over. And of course, like I said, you do need to go and check any game data that you had. Make sure that it is syncing to a Google Play account or maybe Facebook, however they do their syncing, and then go over here and you will need to reinstall that app and go in and resync all of your information over. If you had applications that aren't on the home screen here, of course you swipe up and here you will find all the applications that you had that transferred over. So on these, you will need to go back in and re-sign into those accounts for many of them to start working. So make sure you go through and quickly do that so that they are all in working order. If you are new to Android, and this may be your first phone that you transferred from maybe the iTunes backup or your iPhone, you can click the pop-up on screen to see more details about how to use Android and a new Samsung Galaxy device. If you wanna go back at any time, you can continue to plug in your phone to your computer, do a smart switch backup. It will back up the new data that you have just added. Also, you can check to make sure that your software is up to date. Step number six, click the like button if this video helped you out. And if this is your first time here, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button because I'm gonna bring you new videos all about the Galaxy Note 8. If you tried this transfer method, I wanna hear about it in the comments below to see if you have any recommendations for anyone else to help with the transfer. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.